This is our REI trip to Italy and France by my Jake and I do. Yeah. So um, we're just going to be traveling through Italy and France, and then this is a meet the guys. So I was born in Iowa, but moved to Minnesota when I was four. I am now 27. I played three sports at Boston College: hockey, baseball, and soccer. And my job, besides being an REI guide, is me and Jake own a company called Seam. We also enjoy traveling around the world. I've been to many places like China, South Africa, Vietnam, and more. I like skateboarding and surfing on my free time also. I'm Jake. I was born in Waconia. I'm now 28. I went to college at Cornell, played football and baseball there. Um, I'm a, I also my job besides being an REI guy is that I own a company with Joel. I love traveling the world. I've been to the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, and Switzerland. Jake and I enjoy skiing and playing basketball in my free time. So this is what we'll be doing each day. So on our first day, we'll be arriving in Naples and going to the Positano Beach. Um, that's like an hour, two hour drive. It's a nice beach. Um, on our second day, we will hike Mount Vesuvius. It's about, it's an old volcano. It's very nice. Um, then we'll take a train to Rome. And in the morning in Rome, we'll go to the Colosseum and then Vatican City. We, in the afternoon. And day four, we will go to the Pantheon, and then we will take a train to Pisa, and then we'll see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, in day five, we will drive to Cinque Terre and go on small hikes, and then in the afternoon, we will go on lots of uh, longer hikes. And then day six, we will go hiking a little more in Cinque Terre and go to the beach and then drive off to Modena Italy. In the morning, we will go to the Ferrari Museum, which is solely based on the Italian built cars. Then we'll take a train to Milan and we will go to an AC Milan soccer game after. Then we'll take a train from Milan to Venice. In the morning we'll go to a boat, boat tour in Venice. And in the afternoon we'll go to Lido de Veneza. In the morning we'll go to Piazza San Marco. After we'll fly off to Paris. And we'll wake up and then have breakfast in the hotel and then go to the Eiffel Tower. In the afternoon, we'll go to Latin Quarter for shopping and dining. And then in day 11, we'll go to the Louvre in the morning and then Sacre Coeur Paris. We'll go to the con con concert in the morning and then in the afternoon, we'll go to a Paris Saint German FC game, which is also known as PSG. Then in 13, on day 13, we'll fly back home to Minneapolis. This is just a little slide. So, so this is the beach that we'll be going to. That's just a part of the beach. And then this is the uh, Mount Vesuvius. It was shown up there. And then <coughs> this is in Rome. Um, this is in Vatican City. Um, that's the Leaning Tower piece. We'll be going to that. That's in Chico Terra. That's the Ferrari Museum that we'll be going to. And that's in Venice. Oops, I need to call it there. And then this is also in Venice. <coughs> that's uh, the Eiffel Tower. And then that's the Louvre. We'll be going to that. And then we're going to the PSG soccer. So the prices of the trip is kind of ex expensive because we want luxury and fine dining. The total price per person is $10,999, which is a non-REI member. And if you're an REI member, you can get a discount of about $400 off. The kids' price would be 5999 and the deposit is 3000 
which is fully refundable 50 days before the trip. The price includes traveling around Italy, fine dining, breakfast, soccer games, hiking in Italy, seeing the Louvre and Eiffel Tower, train tickets, breakfast, lunch, tickets to sites, alcoholic beverages, dinners, flights to Italy, and be flight back from Paris, hotels, and rental cars. So this is just the things that you need to bring. So required, we need like the shampoo, body wash, euros, water bottle, closed toe shoes. And then the recommended things are like casual shoes, a swimsuit for like the beaches, um, suitcase, sunblock, hats, underwear, travel pillow, sunglasses and accessories, um, lightweight backpack just to carry around, uh, t-shirts, nicer clothing for some of the restaurants we went to, uh, debit card, phone, and then some of the optional things like camera, travel alarm clock, binoculars, books, cords to like charge your phone, and then the travel documents, we need a passport, airline tickets, and photo identification. <laughs> And the weather during our trip is very nice. The highs get into the 80s in like the lower part of Italy, like Naples and Rome, and then in Paris, the highs get into the 70s, but the lows are still the same throughout the day. Any questions? I have a couple questions I might have missed. What were the dates that you guys were going to be traveling? Did you say? Oh, August 6th through, um, and then we'll be leaving on August 19th. And just to follow up to that, are there, do you think there's going to be any problems with um, language barriers? Do you guys speak another language? you speak Italian or? No. No? So you think it will be fine? I think people won't have any issues with that. Yeah, we probably will. <laughs> there was a lot of nice things on your itinerary, a lot of variety of things to do. Yeah. So I thought that was really great. What would be one of the things that you think people would be most excited about doing, or what are you two most excited about doing? I, I really want to go on the hikes in Cinque Terre. I think that will just be a cool experience to see the city and the, just like, the environment around Beautiful it. views, and like, I, the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre is going to be really fun, going to the Bird Museum and then mm -hmm. seeing the, going to Yeah, in this trip, you'll be able to see like most of the most popular things in France and Italy. Paris. 